existe des personnages dont le charisme est dangereux. En Australie, la belle Anne Hamilton croit avoir une mission, celle de créer une nouvelle génération de sauveurs du monde, d'un monde menacé par une troisième guerre mondiale. A l'aide d'enfants arrachés à leur famille, elle constitue une famille, une véritable secte dont les règles oscillent entre douceur et violence sur fond de drogue. There were allegations of the theft of children at birth and of the administration of illicit drugs, LSD, to these children. It was beautiful. That's my first memory of the actual sect, um, being up with all the other kids. She's strong, she's powerful. Entrancing, beautiful, loving. The eyes that look through your soul. Anne would ring up and want to hear us being disciplined. This was something that she wanted to happen and the aunts were obeying her rules. Anne would tell you to move to a different school, move to a different country, marry a different person. Every time the person did that, then that reinforced her power over them. The young man dared to criticise and disagree with Anne. She said, you've turned away from the light. You are going to die of a heart attack. So what did he do? He went home and had a heart attack. The sect was made up of professional people who worshipped Anne Hamilton Byrne as Jesus Christ reincarnated in the female form. C'est un autre problème auquel sont confrontés les habitants de ce quartier défavorisé d'Auckland. Le gouvernement a changé sa politique sociale et expulse sans scrupule de modestes familles installées là depuis des années qui se révoltent et refusent de partir ailleurs. More than 70 state housing tenants in Auckland have received the news they've been dreading. They've been told when they'll have to move out of their Glen Innes homes to allow redevelopment. They're now assaulting a court bail. Oh, why should I assault it? Who is assaulting? They've lived in their state house for nearly half a century. But how in New Zealand says time is up. People seem to be feeling that this is moving people out of a potentially wealthy area and putting people into ghettos. You're moving the, you're moving the trash out. Land is short in supply in Auckland, as you would understand, and projects like the Glen Innes development will provide more houses for more families. What then of the emotional cost? 30 years. And that's how long I've been in this house. 30 years. A home is, it's the foundations, it's the four walls that you feel safe in. It's like your body, hey, that's your everything, you know? Roof over your head. It's not something that's, everything's in its place. You know, it's, it's just a place where you know that's my home. Rendez-vous à la Maison de la Culture jusqu'au 12 février.